the living God. I want to say to everybody on tonight, God bless you all. Uh, Prophet, um, he is on an assignment on tonight and has asked me to step in. <laughs> and I thought I was going to get a chance to lay down, but, you know, that's why you have to be ready in season, out of season, all seasons, because God is good. And when the word is in you, then the Holy Spirit already have put a deposit and he can make a withdrawal. So I want to say to you on tonight, uh, as I'm just allowing some of you to get in, and uh, we're uh, clicking some others in, other friends, other family of the faith, I want to start out and say, God love you and so do we. This is now Faith Hills Worldly Outreach Ministries, and this is the Thursday night prophetic gathering with Prophet Darrell D. Johnson, Spiritual Empowerment. Uh, and I thank God for what he's doing in our life and what he's doing in the lives of all the believers in such a time as this. Uh, things are changing, even though we know that God is unchangeable, but then we know that God uh, has different administrations, different giftings, different workings, and we need to thank God for that. Uh, normally, the ministry, how God uses me, uh, the preach can come up, which preaching is really declaring. But uh, teaching is powerful because I was reading over in the scriptures when it talks about uh, the gifts and it talks about uh, the office of the teacher. He said, after the teaching come, then come the miracles. Why is God saying that? Because we can be so high and gear it up. And there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes he says... In all you're getting, well, I don't want to say sometimes, but he do say, in all you're getting, get an understanding. And when you have a understanding of the word, then you can better learn how to appropriate or apply the word of God in your life. Because he said that we just cannot be comfortable with just hearing it, but we must be a doer. We must stop somewhere in our life. And allow the word to become applicable or apply this word in the areas of our life where it's needed. When that enemy come like a flood. He not the flood. The spirit of the love of the Lord is the flood. Because it's also represented as many waters like a flood. The spirit of the Lord will lift up shall lift a standard up against your enemy. And a lot of times, I know we think that that enemy sometimes is on the outside of us, but a lot of times, sometimes that enemy is on the inside in the unregenerate parts of our souls that have not been regimed. Woo! By the word of God, we still operating in our soulish mind, in our soulish natural understanding. That part has not been converted. We have not learned to give over the fight and yield unto God. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and humble yourself when you hear his voice speak and come under the authority of the supernatural, the divine word of God, that it may be greater Greater than what you see, for we walk not by sight, but by faith. We got to allow these words that we are reading, these words that we are fellowshipping and eating on and digesting, we must allow the word of God to be stronger, greater, more reverential than the word of God. I mean, I'm sorry, than the acts of God. Or I'm sorry, oh God, I'm so a little bit tired, but I got it. Listen, then the sights that we see in our everyday life. Because, you know, it's so easier for us. We see the distraction. We see the trials. We see the enemy using a certain person. We see the flood rising. or We see the enemy trying to come. But that's when we have to remember or rely upon the word, the, the, the rhema to come up in us. And allow it to be alive. Come on, it got to become alive, operable in our lives. We must apply it. We must be a doer of it. Come on. Oh, good God Almighty. And when we mature to that level, that's when, listen, you will take over your enemy. You will overcome him. Listen, he said we are overcomers. More than conquer. You will conquer 
your enemies, those things that are against the faith of God in you. Those things that are against the revelation of God that the Spirit of God have put on the inside of us. And I thank him because he could have put it, you know, just in our head. But he not only put it in our head, he's protected us in all areas, on all levels. He not only have it in our head, our soul, but it even gets down in our spirit, in our heart. Woo, Jesus. And then it begins to get in our mouth. Hallelujah. And once we are converted in our soul, then we begin to receive a converted language. We're no longer talking about what the devil is doing. And we begin to execute ooh, vengeance on our enemy with the word, with the power, with the life of God. Come on here. Now, if he used these words and spoke all creation into existence, who are we? Not to use it. That's why sometimes instead of allowing, I'm going to get comfortable in here tonight because God is talking. Listen, that's why sometimes who are we to not see the results of God and then don't mimic or imitate him. We are imitators of the Christ. Listen, and when you see someone that is maturing in the things of God, maturing in the Christ in them, why would you allow a spirit in your head to get into competition with them? Why don't you sit there and see the results of their faith and the benefits that they are getting? And you say, listen here, that's mine too. I can do that too. Come on. I tell our congregation all the time, tell our body, our family, our sons and daughters, listen, I want you to declare this. I can do this too. I can do this. I said, you got to remind yourself and tell yourself, I can do this. Come on. We can do this, and it has to get person sometime and say, I can do this. Hello. Glory to God. Because we can do it because of the authority that's been given us and because of the covenant relationship that we have in God. God gave us power. Not only did he give us power, but he gave us authority. Hallelujah. And I just praise God tonight. Listen, God will breathe on you. I thank God because he's so... Ooh, serene, and I just see him in his greatness, because he's so great, and, and, and you know, that's my my uh, fellowship with daddy, you know, he's a cool and a smooth operator, he's awesome, come on, sometimes words can't even express, you may have to speak in a tongue, you don't have enough English vocabulary to try to size him up, listen, but God will take nothing, and make something out of it. Many times in the world we looked at that. Listen, when God will breathe on your not enough and make it become more than enough. I'm, I'm talking to somebody on the night because you think that you don't have what it takes. But I'm saying if you would just lift it up unto God, God will take your not enough and turn it into more enough. Listen here. And he will ambush your enemy right in his tracks. Listen, he did it many times. He took the little last lunch, just a little lunch. How in the world did this little sack lunch that this little boy got from his mother before he went out, you know, and, and got in the midst of the multitude with Jesus to hear the word of the Lord. What in the world, how in the world did a little sack lunch feed a multitude of people and have some left over? Look, that sound like something supernatural to me. That sound like God breathing on not enough and turning it into, come on her, more than enough. How did a little girl, come on her, Esther, oh, glory to God, before she was Esther, uh, her father passed away and she was given to her uncle Mordecai but her uncle Mordecai left out probably no doubt where the daddy did because they was in the bloodline of Jesus listen here and he began to instruct and talk about the word the ways of God and listen and it began to get down the spirit I'm sure that young girl didn't understand all of that I know she didn't sometimes you and I don't understand all of it and sometimes we don't have to understand God we just need to come into a place with him that you know we begin to just put our trust in it because we see his results. We see his everlasting, come on, her uh, battles that he's already won. Come on, somebody. So why would we not do what he's doing? Oh, my God. But anyway, Esther, she came up in her, and she was just this little, actually little slave. You know, the system of that day. 
The Babylonian sister at that day had them like little slaves. And listen, and she got chosen and picked. And a lot of you in this hour, listen, because of the grace of God, because of what God have impregnated with you with, you're getting ready to be picked. Come on here. You've already been chosen and handpicked by God, but God's getting ready to allow somebody of means, somebody of a great stature, listen, to to call you out, to, to summon you, come on here, to the master's table, listen here, and it's going to take your not enough, and listen, and God going to breathe on it, and make it more than enough, come on somebody, and where you may were at the bottom, he raising you up to the top, according to his word, we are the head, and not the tail, you may think right now, you just insignificant on that job, but I want you to get do away with that type of thinking on tonight, and realize that wherever you are on tonight, you you still the head. I declare you. I, I ooh, prophesy to you. Come on here. I could almost just double dog dirt and command you to begin to say, listen, I have everything that I need. Because God have met my need. And my need is met in Christ. And see, you may just think you're on that job, but it's just time and season. The Bible said time and chance happen to us all. It is your time, and it is your chance. Come on, God is allowing you to come up on your chance. And time and chance meeting together. And the supernatural going to breathe upon you. And where you look like you was not enough, or you was not the deal, you're going to become the deal, the head, the seed. CEO. Listen, he'll tell somebody, he'll take somebody's life and let them know it's over for you and I want you to turn it over to her. Give it over to him. See, that's just how our fathers do. And all the while, what we thought we were being pressed Oh, God, remember Paul's word when it looked like we are pressed beyond measure. We really not. It's just called process. Oh, God. Can you say it's just your process? God processing your kingdom character, your godly characteristic in you. Listen here. Oh, good God Almighty. So when the time come upon you and chance meet up together, listen here. Your promotion going to come. Because remember, he say, don't be looking for it from the east or from the west. Listen, north or south. Uh -uh. Don't be looking for it in these natural means in this hour. Listen here. Because he said that the promotion is going to come from the Lord. God's got about to raise you up. I said, God's about to elevate you. Come on here and listen. In everything that the earth is trying to say you need, God gonna break all rules and regulation and check this out too. And he's speeding up the time. That's what it mean about redeem the time. He is your kinsman redeemer. I'm telling you where it looked like you were just going step by step. God gonna speed the steps up. Come on here. Where it looked like you was broke today and then you become a millionaire tomorrow. Oh, y'all better don't try to figure this out. You you better not try to get in the natural with me. And you better stay in the spirit and hear what the Lord is saying unto you, the church, on tonight. Listen, I said God is going to speed it up where you look like you was facing illness. Listen, and, and tomorrow you totally healed. You totally made strong. Glory to God. Oh, where it looked like you didn't have enough, but then you tapped into abundance. You had everything you need and some that you may be able to raise up. Listen, here, a foundation or raise up an organization. Oh, glory to God in the earth that the kingdom can get in there and you can raise up people unto God. Listen here, that we may do great exploits in the earth. I'm talking to somebody on the night. I pray that you hear in your word. Mm, 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 mm. God will take your less than and make it greater than. I'm prophesying to some people on the night. I'm saying God is taking your less than through hearing these words tonight. I know you're saying... Oh, my God, you don't even understand. I don't have to understand. And you try, you quit trying to understand everything, too. God will take your less than and breathe on it and make it greater than. Oh, Lord, tonight, it's blessing me on tonight. Listen, he said, promotion don't come again from the east to the west. Stop looking for uh, natural things, natural help, and look for your spiritual blessing, because he has given us all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And it's going to take a release of your faith, your release of your confidence in God. Listen here, to transfer it from the spiritual into the natural, and then it's going to be supernatural, and everybody going to know that God did it. Oh, God. Because it's going to be looking like you can do it. You was outnumbered. Oh, come on, somebody. 
Hallelujah. I think about the faith that the men had when their friend had been sick. And I'm imagine, I can imagine, they must have really loved their friend. Their friend must have really been valuable in their life. And when, when it looked like death was going to try to take them out, and it was so crowded because Jesus, Lord have mercy, was working miracles everywhere he go. And his fame went out all over the land. They, they, they couldn't get him in. They couldn't get him in the front, though. They couldn't get him in the back, though. Look, it was so crowded. They couldn't get him in the window. So look at her. Somebody come on her. Got a quickening. Somebody come on her. Got a, a, a instruction from the Holy Spirit. Listen and say, listen to her. Take that ball up on top of the roof. Now you know they had to be here in God. Because you know in the natural, you sit up and you get on top of my roof and ain't got my permission and, and tore up my roof. And, and, and trying to let your homeboy, your homegirl in, I lot to baptize you in somebody's name. <laughs> but let me tell you something. They didn't even consider. Listen, Earl, when faith rises up on you, you can't even consider sometimes the natural things. Listen, they carried their friends up there. You better thank God for some godly friends that really love you, that respect the God in you, that just love you. Come on. And they took them up on that roof, and they tore up them folks' roof, and they let their friend down right in Jesus' face. Look at her. Jesus said, wow, oh, wait a minute. These boys, are, these boys are off the chain. I got to hear they buddy. These, look, these boys are off the chain. And there was a lot of times, you read in the scriptures when God says, a lot of times there was not such great faith. It was outside of the church. It wasn't it was in the church. A lot of times it was outside the building. Look, outside the organization. Outside the denomination. Listen here, that Jesus uh, saw faith and works his greatest works outside on the outside. Y'all better be ready. I said y'all better be ready because God is doing some outside wonder-working miracles today. I said God is working some outside wonder-working miracles today while you waiting on everything to be uh, in place and looking pretty and all lined up and God going to break all rules, laws, and come on here and legislation, he just going to bump in. Ooh. Come on here and snatch it. Listen, and that's going to have the faith, of, the faith of God on you, the faith that's going to take it by force. Did y'all hear me? Somebody say, listen here, I received the faith that take it by force. Sometimes you got faith that you got to wait patiently. That's waiting faith. And sometimes you ain't got time to wait. Mm-mm. That thing is upon you. It thing trying to take you out. You're going to have to have the faith to take it by force. Look, give me my stuff. Because, listen, when you really begin to really remember that it's yours anyway, you're only taking what belongs to you. Healing is the children's bread. Listen here. He became uh, poor that we might become rich. Listen, it, it belongs unto us. Creative ideas come that we may cause money to come forth. We are co-creators in the earth. Listen here. That's why we can take them up for Give me my stuff. You know, ain't somebody going to try to take. It's just like somebody going to get your car and take. If you don't get, you, if you don't get out my car, give me my car. Yeah, listen, give me my home. Listen, and when God took over, listen her through the son, the second Adam, and then he turned around, listen her, and he gave us, listen, an inheritance. What is the inheritance? Our inheritance is God. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. And when you inherit God, that means you got power and authority over all things. And God know everybody. Listen, oh my God tonight. I hope somebody really hearing me. Oh, I'm encouraging myself tonight. Listen here, I want you to also look at, I'm going to go back and just share something, because sometimes you got to give somebody some word. Brian will be coming out and somebody say, she ain't quote no scripture. I am the scripture. I'm the word made flesh. Listen, turn over here to Psalm 75 and 6, and so are you. Mm-hmm. I love being around people that tell me who I am instead of people always telling me who I'm not. And what I can't do, and what I can't have. Look, I look here. I done 
I done disannulled them. I, I got them on shutdown right now. Listen here. And I'm summonsing and calling. My faith is summonsing and calling in the helpers. Listen here. Calling in the help ministry. Those that's going to help me work the works of God. Those that's going to bleed with me. Those that's going to unify their faith with me. Listen here. And we're going to throw down and overcome. Listen here. Households. Overcome companies. Overcome nations. Overcome cities. Come on here. Over Overcome. It's, can you say, oh, it's overcoming time, and I want you to say, and we in the takeover generation. Glory to God. God said, listen here, that this is not the day of the devil. We in the day of the Lord. We are the generation of the God seekers. Is anybody hearing me on tonight? Glory to God. You got to make up your mind. And even though it's a wonderful thing that uh, we can go and hear, you know, others and they can lay foundation and groundwork. Come on here. Footwork in our lives. But let me tell you, somewhere in your life, in your journey, you must stop, slow down, and you must begin to Get the word that you've been hearing, and you must begin to study it. To go into a deeper debt with it. God. I want to know you for myself. God, I thank you for a personal relationship with you. Come on here and listen and go into the deeper things of God. Listen here, somebody. Listen. Oh, my God. Then you will begin to discover intimacy. You will have your own personal intimacy with the Father. Intimacy. He's going to allow you. Uh, uh, mm, intimacy in him, that you can see things in him that others may not want to see because they don't want to pay the price. They don't want to lay their life down. They don't want to come close. They don't want to forsake all. Come on. No, glory to God. Listen here. No, you got to do this. You must have your personal relationship with the Father too because your three meals a week or two meals a week now, we used to go to church six days a week. I'm telling you, and I don't know how we made it, but God was good. But in this hour, listen, we go about what? Two, I think it's uh, Sundays, and sometimes, you know, we got Wednesdays, and sometimes, in some cases, you may have to have it over the Facebook, or have, if you don't have your own building yet, did you hear me say yet? You see how smooth you, your words got to be disciplined, and you can't be talking a problem, but talking the solution. Listen, you may not have the building yet. Glory to God, understanding that we are the building, and every time you are pouring out, listen to her, making impartation that you are sowing into the buildings of God. Our bodies are the buildings of God. He's doing a handy work in us right now. Even though it was done, he's doing it right now, stirring it up, cultivating it. Glory to God. Come on, her. Woo! Come on, watering it, Lord, her. Getting it ready for such a time as this. I just told you we're in the takeover season. But listen, hallelujah today. Psalm 75 and 6. I want you to Meditate on scriptures. Anytime I'm believing God for something, I always believe God for a promise uh, in the word that I can stand on. Something that I'm, I can be rooted and anchored on when the curves of life don't want to agree with me. Then I just agree with God. Two can't walk together except they be agreed. You're going to have to get in agreement with the Holy Spirit of God who is going to tell you the things, the secret things that he's hearing from the Father and tell it unto you and you must be in agreement with it. In all costs, beyond how you feel, beyond the things that you see. So, Psalm 75 and 6, whoo, it's warm in here. Glory to God. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I thank you right now for what you're doing in our midst. Hallelujah. I'm just thanking God that he just raising up people all everywhere. We got to take our office space and allow the Holy Ghost to do his office work in us so we can do a mighty thing now. Great exploits. They that know their God shall do great exploits. What did I say? Psalms 75 and 6. Okay, I'm almost there. Hold on. Uh, I wish I was in uh, the building. I'd be having somebody reading it for me. But now I got to read it. Glory to God. Psalms 75. 73, come on. 75. Ugh, I don't have my own Bible. 75, chapter 6. Come on. 
First, I'm going to go to five. He says, lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. Listen, for a promotion coming neither from the east nor from the west, but it come, nor from the south. Listen, but God is the judge. Come on here. He put it down one and he set it up another. Listen, God, promotion coming from the Lord. God knows. That's why you cannot be complaining about your processes. Because your processes are only tools in the hands of God, you know, to prepare you for greater works. Glory to God. Listen, check out King David. Even though he was anointed king, he wasn't yet operating as a king. He, had, he got pronounced, listener, and uh, an announcement came over his life about the king, a decree, of prophecy, and then he had to go right back with the sheep. But then, because he was whooping the barrels, listen, and he whooped the bar and he whooped the lamb. See, all of that was process leading him up before he could get to the giant, the liar. Some of you on tonight, listen, you are about to approach your giant and take his head off, listen, girl, so he can move out your space because it belongs to you anyway. Oh, good God Almighty. And you're going to see God promote you, exalt you, elevate you. And when you are promoted in the earth, it's God. Listen here. It's God's glory being revealed in our lives. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, God, I just love God. I love him with all of my heart. Oh, my God. And then... I thought about that because I'm telling you, I'm, li I'm talking to some people, you are in your promotion season. I'm talking to some people on tonight, God's about to elevate you, raise you up, and I'm, don't you be looking afar off. Because also God said that the words that he speaks, he's not going to prolong anymore. God is doing some right now stuff. God wants us to be very acquainted with now. He's speaking into the future, but it's bringing into your now. I put a word out on Facebook today, and I declare this over the people of God that don't already know it and encourage those that do. But listen here. You must learn. You must learn to live in your now. You might as well forget the past. It's over. And you haven't got to the future yet. But listen here. But God is bringing your future into your now by a prophetic word. And listen, and the words are not going to be prolonged anymore. He's going to do it if you abide in me. See? When we abide in him, you got to listen and begin to ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand kingdom language, spiritual language, if you abide in me. Well, if you're abiding in him, that means there is some process going on because abiding, I hear some time up in there, abiding, staying with them. Listen, allowing him, stay with him. Listen, if you abide in me, listen, if you abide in me, you can ask what you will. You know why? Because while you were abiding, you were whooping your little gang sales and your name says he was teaching you how to overcome them. He was teaching you to get ready because when I put you in this high place, I don't need you acting, listen here, in a nature or in a character that's uncoming or unfit for your kingship. Oh my God. I need you to be walking. Come on here. In, with some control over, over your soul, over your being. Listen here, that you can just, just say a word and take your enemy out. Come on here. Oh, good God Almighty. Did you hear me? Because when the king make a decree, everything got to come subject. Creation got to come subject to the king. Listen here. So God has been preparing us for such a time as this because greatness is your portion. You have entered into your greatness. You have entered to. He said, yeah, we're going to allow all of this stuff to rise over our head. He said, but now you have brought me into my wealthy place. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, salute your wealthy place. Good God Almighty. Salute your promotion. Come on here. Be one with it. Glory to God. Get in agreement with it. Come on. Walk like it. Come on. Talk like it. Come on here. And it shall come to pass. He said, listen, you done abided in me. And guess what? Because, oh God, tonight, remember he said that he would reward our labor. Blood, because when you were abiding, when you was going through your shameful situations, when you was going through your painful and hurting situation, you did not leave me now. 
now I'm going to reward your labor of love. Good God Almighty. Come on, I feel like God. Look, let me, let me, I gotta get up and shout my own. Woo! Hey! I, mm, mm, mm. Hey, wait, wait, sit down, girl. I feel like shouting myself and dancing unto the Lord. Listen here, cause how many know I'm talking for me right now, but I done been through some shame stuff, stuff that made me to look ashamed. And the word of God says that he won't let the just be put to shame. So now God is redeeming time. He redeeming that word, God Almighty. Listen here, oh, hallelujah. Y'all better get excited. You better get excited with me on tonight, cause sure the Lord is talking to you too. Them that got an ear to hear, let him hear. Listen, you got to understand that. Listen, it wasn't for your uh the, your demise it was he was preparing you for your promotion for your greatness he was preparing you come on david he had prepared david to no longer be king over animals but he was preparing david to be king over mankind Woo! and you know you got to god got to do that that you can be able to deal with mankind People coming from long places. You're going to have to have much fruit. So you want to allow people to provoke you out of character. Allow people to cause you to uh, speak curses over them when God done ordained blessing in your mouth to release blessing on them. Come on, we in this generation now of grace and favor. And listen, and we need to, oh, and I just want to see everybody make it. Now, people tell me, well, you know, oh, well, I ain't even trying to figure out all that. God is the judge, even though he's anointed and causing us to be able to judge over, listen here, oh, my God, uh, a realm. But I'm telling, I, I just want to see everybody make it. Can, can I have that faith if, if I'm going to have it, whether you like it or not? Listen, I just want to see everybody make it. I want to see pe the people of God doing good. I want to see the people of God promoted. I want to see the people of God have more than enough. I want to see the people of God sitting at the head of tables that, listen here, business can be ran righteously and businesses can be judged. Come on here, in righteousness. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't y'all see all this hell out here? That's because unrighteous heads is sitting at the table. Come on. Spiritual wicked is in high places sitting at the table. Now God want to flip them up out the table and sit you at the table. Listen to her. So we can bring and birth forth healing and deliverance and great miracles and everlasting uh, work supernatural powers that be of God. That's Ours. That's our inheritance, people of God. I thank God for it on tonight. I've been through enough hell to get to this place to be able to declare it. And I'm declaring it on tonight. I thank God for it. Listen, we need to understand that. And, and he said, and because you have allowed him to change your will, because remember, he gave us a free will. But now, when, when we learn to die to self, we have allowed him to deal with our strong-willed beast natures. Woo! And we have come to uh, accept the DNA, the very nature of God in us, Christ in us. Listen here. So now, what we think is our will, he have converted our will to become his will. That's why he can say, let thy will be done. See, because now it's not only our will, it's his will flowing through us or working through us. Ooh, I'm going to give God some praise on tonight. I need somebody to tell me what time it is because I'm not going to stay with us very long. I'm really not. I just want to stay long enough. Lord, have mercy for the work of God to be done and the miracles to flow from the east, north, south, and west. Oh, my God. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, I want to provoke you or evoke you into the secret place. Psalms 91. Listen, what does Psalms 91 say? Read it. Let's go and get it. Psalms 91. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometime that word, oh my God, you got to stay. Stay with God because that word gets so good. Hallelujah. You trying to go back and get scriptures. Oh my God. Hallelujah today. But it's all good. Look. He that dwelleth, there that dwelling go again. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
Hallelujah. I want to provoke you under the shadow of, of the Almighty. I want to provoke you into the secret place with God where you begin to discover the much more of God, the divineness of God, the miraculous of God. Come on here. The everlasting of God. Oh, Jesus. Where the flow just keep flowing every time you pull. It just flowing and flowing and you never run out because God is never in anywhere where he's not going to be unnecessary. He's not going to take you anywhere where he's unnecessary. And there's nowhere we can go that God is not. Oh, good God Almighty. I'm blessing my soul on tonight and yours too. Good God Almighty. He say, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God. See, you got to make it personal. Listen, you want to hear them say one time uh, in a minute, you're going to hear them say, Lord have mercy. I want the God of Prophet Sandria. I want the God of uh, Bishop Bonner. I want the God. Listen here, uh, Apostle Jeremiah, I want the God of Dr. Gloria. Come on, somebody. I want the God of Prophet Johnson. I want the God because, you know, you have a personal relationship and they understand that you really have, listen, been converted by God. You have come into your disciplined ways and the acts of God, and now they want your God. It sounded just like them girls that was walking around with Ruth that said, one daughter, she went on back to her family. But Ruth said, no, 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 no. After Ruth seen all that, Ruth said, mm-mm. After she seen, uh, come on, her, her mother-in-law, Naomi urged her up into the presence of the king. Listen, she said, mm-mm, ain't going nowhere. Listen, your God going to be my God. Give me the God of Naomi. Oh, Jesus. Are y'all hearing me on tonight? So, I just praise God. What time is it, uh, my son over there? What time is it over there? You got that time on you? Huh? Son. Where my son go? What time is it? I'm staying on the clock tonight. Whoa, whoa. What is my time? Uh, uh. Hmm? 923. I'm sorry. 923. Okay, we coming to the close. Good God Almighty. Listen, he say, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. I know some stuff been making some noise around you and all up in your head and in your ear. He said, surely I'll deliver you from the snare of the fowler. Listen here, and then listen, and make sure that you're not releasing words, that you're snaring yourself by the words of your own mouth. Listen, when you begin to speak the words of God, listen here, you surely, listen, the Christ in you will deliver you from the foul. Come on, the foul play, the, the foul, uh, the, the, the snakes, whatever else is trying to come under you. And he said, and surely, listen here, I'm going to deliver you from the noise and pests. I know that noise, that lion be making a lot of noise, but God said, I shut the mouth of your lions. This word is so potent and powerful, it will shut the mouth of your lions. Making up all that noise, tell them lions to be quiet. Shut your mouth. My grandson used to say, hush your mouth. Listen, hush your mouth. It said, he shall come, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. In other words, y'all, God got us so protected, and we are covered. It's not like the enemy can just pounce on us and do what he wants to and get ready. No, he can't. No, he can't. It's not like the mountain can just withstand us. And by the way, if a mountain is standing before you and it has not moved yet, listen here, decree and declare it to be moved. Move, mountain, move out of my way. It, it got to obey that word. But listen, if it ain't moved just yet, listen here, but I'm telling you, it has moved. But listen here, because you're still trying to see it stand up, listen here, that's just, listen here, a, a place, a process where God is Preparing you for the elevation, for the promotion, for the exalted self of you. Pulling up the exalted self out of you. Listen to her, making you forget all about the little bitty natural, no name to self of you. And raising up the new name. He said, I'll give you a new name. It's about Christ in you, the hope of glory. God is doing some name changing on tonight. Listen to her, and God is 
our deliverer. Oh, hallelujah. And when God pronounces uh, your name uh, before the world, listen, when God begins to reveal to the world that you are his covenant daughter, his covenant son, Good God Almighty, listener, ain't nothing the world can do about it. That means greatness is coming to you from the north, south, east, and west. God is putting you in position to rule and reign. Listener, he's giving you, he's making you a powerful decision maker. Glory to God. Come on here. When decisions got to be made, they're going to come to you. They're going to find you. Listen here on tonight. He's going to cause you to reign in high places. Ah, Hallelujah. Going to the other side of life. Hello. You better shout out. I've come to the other side of life. Mm -hmm. And God said, and it's not going to be inch by inch no more. He's going to do it like now. Woo! By this time tomorrow, some of you shall get good news. By this time tomorrow, favor and much favor shall fall upon you. And you shall discover increase and abundance. By this time tomorrow, listen here, sickness and disease that may was trying to plague you or your family. By this time tomorrow, you're going to get good news. Glory to God. That sickness has fell down to your feet. Done dropped down. Disappeared. Listen, it got to disappear at the hearing of the name. Woo, glory to God. Come on. Yeah, sure. God is a good God on tonight. So, um, I just thank God for just this little hour of power. Just to encourage you. To inspire you. Glory to God. To let you to to remind you not to be a forgetful hero, but to remain a faithful hero and then be a doer of this word. Because greatness is upon you. I can't get that out of my spirit ever since God put it in my spirit and let me know that greatness is my portion. And then he told me to reveal that to others. If it's in me, it's in somebody else too. Greatness is your portion. You should no more go to and fro in the earth, lacking and walking around like a vagabond. Uh-uh. God is manifesting his glory in and upon your life. Hallelujah. And you shall walk in your kingship in this earth. You shall, come on, you shall rule. You shall dominate. Glory to God. You shall overthrow the backs and the powers of darkness and much evil. Oh, hallelujah. You say, though it come, it might come. A thousand can come at your side, ten thousand at your right. He's saying, but it shall not come nigh your dwelling place. You have to make up where you're going to dwell. Are you going to dwell in the secret place of God, or are you going to stay out in that outer court and keep playing church? What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? What decision, what choices are you going to make? Amen. What choices are you going to make on tonight? Glory to God. Greatness is your portion. Well, without any further ado, I'm going to get ready to bring you to a close. I so appreciate each and every one of you, and I decree greatness on every one of you that are under the sound of my voice on tonight. Greatness is your portion. God is speeding up the process. God is... Listen here, has come. He ain't not coming, he has come. Open up your heart and receive the fullness of him and allow him to just overflow, overshadow, overtake you and do some mighty things in you. Because what God is doing in you, remember, he wants you to get up and begin to do it unto somebody else. Well, God bless everyone under the sound of my voice. Remember, as prophet always say, that you are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. Bless coming in, bless going out. Everything your hand touch prosper. And remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you. We'll see you next week, and you have a good night. Bye. <laughs>